This is Ian from In 30 Minutes Guides. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Google Sheets app for iOS to create a finance tracker for your favorite stocks. If this video helps, please take a moment to like it and follow me. Let's get started. So this is the Google Sheets app for iOS. I have it in landscape mode so we can see what I'm doing more easily. But basically what we're going to do is tap the plus icon in the lower right corner and then select choose template. And interestingly, Google has created a whole bunch of new templates for Google Sheets as well as Google Docs. And this one called Google Finance Investment Tracker, you can see it in the lower left corner. This is the one we're gonna be playing with today. And what this is, it's basically a dynamic spreadsheet that pulls in information from Google Finance for specific stocks. And you can see that the default one, it's for Google itself, for Alphabet Incorporated Class C stock. It shows the current price, it shows the change, it shows the, uh, by default, it shows the 12 month performance of this particular stock. You can actually select it so it's a different time frame. Uh, and then if you scroll down, it shows the day by day performance for the stock. Now, uh, what I'm going to do first is actually make a copy of this because I'm gonna make some changes to the stocks that are being shown. So in the upper right corner, tap the three dots icon and then select share and export. And at the very bottom, it says make a copy. Pick that one. Okay, so I've just made a copy here. Click out of the little disclaimer. And in the cell number, it looks like it's B4, it's where you enter the stock symbol. So I'm going to edit that. And instead of Goog, which is for Google, I'm gonna type F, which is for Ford. And then tap the check mark on the right side of the field there. So you can see it just updated to Ford Motor Company. And if you scroll down, it shows the performance of the stock day by day. And that's a pretty useful thing to have just on your phone. But there's another reason why this is important. Actually, it looks like I need to move the chart down a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Another reason why this is important is you can, first of all, you can perform uh, calculations. Like let's say that you have I'm going to add a number of stocks here. So let's say that I have 34 shares of that particular stock, and then I want to calculate what the total value is. All I would need to do is enter a very simp simple formula. I think it's, uh, let's see here. So I'm going to type it in. So equals, whoops, equals B10, times F10 and then click click the correct it, the uh, check mark and you see it says 403.58 so that's actually in dollars that's $403.58 and that's the value of let's say I have 34 shares it instantly calculated that and it will update every time the price changes uh, you can also open up the spreadsheet on any of your other devices. If you have Google Sheets, for instance, on your Windows PC, you can open up this particular spreadsheet and you can see it at any time that you want. You can duplicate the spreadsheet and you can create a whole range of different uh, quotes. And then also, if you want to, because you can link the spreadsheets together, you can have like a summary document that show that calculates all of the values of your or of your stock. And then importantly, if you tap the upper right corner, you can do things like share this document. So if I wanted to share it, for instance, with a family member, I could just start typing in the name or other information, uh, the email address of somebody that I want to share it with so they can see it too or they can make edits as well. So once you're done, tap the check mark in the upper left corner. You can go back to Google Sheets. And you know it's a very simple template to use. It's uh, different than using a finance app but I found that it's a really interesting way to share information with other people if you want to, and then to connect these spreadsheets together using Google Sheets. I'm the author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes, which, which also covers Google Sheets, so I cover some basic information in that book. You can check that, you can check that out on our website at in30minutes.com, uh, or you can just follow me right here on YouTube and see more updates that I have about using Google Sheets both on a mobile device like the iPhone or is on in a browser for a Chromebook or a uh, Windows or Mac. Thank you so much for watching.